Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome to Scrap Mechanic with me, Alathrix, and of course, welcome to the brand new survival mode, which I promised I would play a very long time ago when I first covered this game. I covered this game for only a few episodes, I was playing on the creative mode, but I was doing other things at the time, but I did promise, even back then, I would give this a go with the survival mode when it was eventually released, and honestly, it's something I've been really looking forward to. So it has released fairly recently, and so we're going to give it a go. This is our first impressions. I have tried to keep my exposure to this game at the bare minimum, so I am going in pretty much not knowing what the survival mode is really going to give us. So expect a fair few mistakes in this video, but if I do continue the series after this episode, I will be looking up things because Scrap Mechanic can get very complex and very, very interesting very quickly if you actually know what you're doing. So tell me if you would like to see this in the comments below, and of course, leaving a like certainly helps as well. So, with all the shilling out of the way, let's get into the game itself, survival mode, and we are starting a brand new game after I break everything. Sorry about that, I just accidentally turned off some of the recording stuff, so let's go. First impressions is what I'm going to call the world, and let's get started. Well, when I said I broke everything, apparently I broke everything. Okay, so I'm assuming a crash landed there. We have our lift from before. I do at least remember that. And we have our trusty mace, already getting the lovely survival game feels. Very tempted to try and chop down trees. So I think first things first, there are very shiny things around us. And from what I do know about the game, with the very, very minimum I've looked things up, we need to start fixing things and getting our food sorted. And at the same time... Robots around us aren't particularly friendly, and this is way more on fire than I expected. Okay, there's a wheel there, I think. Is that a wheel? I think that's a wheel, or at least it's an excuse for a wheel. And we need to put the fires out. Okay, that makes complete sense. Oh, that... Okay, I was expecting something different there. Not exactly sure about breaking our back when going to bed, but still... The less we speak about that, the better. So let's just get used to the controls then. So what we need to do is find water. And I'm assuming we need to follow the route of shiny things. Soil bags and red beets. I am curious to see how farming works in this game. Now, when I last played this game, it was several years ago and just the creative mode. And honestly, I wasn't exactly the best at it and I didn't really put enough time in. I think I've played the game for a total of 12 hours, something like that. So expect a lot of rookie mistakes. Gasoline, component kits, uh, tomato seeds. How do I bring up the inventory? That's how. No description available for the seeds, but I guess it's fairly self-explanatory. Component kits, used to upgrade interactive parts and unlock bots at the mechanic station. A gasoline, used to power gas engines, as would be expected. A juicy tomato, <laughs> excellent. And a nutritious carrot. Tempted to see what I can break down and what I can't, to be honest. So, just getting some water and some food. And hello you! Well, that does look like a lot of scrap. Well, let's go up then. Oh, we are very slow going up. Aha! We have a bucket, I think. Yep, it took me that long to think of the word bucket. How do I pick that up? Oh, it's right mouse, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so even picking up things like that is the right mouse button. That makes a lot of sense. I'm assuming I'm meant to go up here because I've just got a bucket. So I assume, you know, bucket plus water equals bad news for the fire. Oh, hello! You're one of those harvesty bots I've been talking about. Oh, you do not like me. I'm assuming this is our weapon for now, and I'm also assuming I'll get upgrades later. Oh. Oh, right in the head. Oh, there it is. Um. Interesting. Huh. Is your head a note block? Your head's a note block. Well, that's interesting. Also, the audio's oddly low, so I will try and improve it in a second. Okay, we got a circuit board. Don't know what's that, what that's going to be exactly used for. I'm assuming... Oh, sorry, use. 
I'm assuming probably for crafting. Some more milkshakes, and we have these things. Okay, refined. So we can pick it up. Okay, so we can't actually put that in our inventory, or no? Okay, so I guess refining is how you get it in there. What exactly is this? It looks like an arm for one of those uh, machines which make cars. And we get scrap metal. Okay, I'm assuming that's going to be pretty valuable. Even if we don't end up using it for recipes, we can definitely build with it, I assume. Since, you know, it's an actual block. And this is a survival game, so blocks are good. That's what we checked, right? Okay, more fire. Grab that in a second. Circuit board. Carrots. Oh, you're the battery, aren't you? Are you the battery? Yes, you are the master battery. Okay. Seems like there's a way up there. Okay, here's a question. Do we take fall damage? <laughs> because I was just about to jump off and go home before I saw that. Might need to test that out before we end up destroying ourselves. Ow! Fire hurts! We have learned a valuable lesson. Oh, hello. What are you? And what are you? Okay, so there is a lot for us to explore. That is fantastic. So, yeah, we're going to need a vehicle. I've already got a vehicle in mind for our first one. What I would like to build is a three-wheeler. I don't know why. But that's just kind of what I want to build at the moment. I want a Reliant Robin. Um, is there any way... Oh, yep, not going to test out full damage from there. Are we done here? Looks like we might be done here. Full damage? Hmm. Didn't get hurt there. I'll come back and double check a thing later, but right now I want to see what this battery does in the crashed ship. I assume it's a crashed ship, right? Or was it just our garage and it got set on fire? I don't know. I really need to look at it better. Full damage? Hmm. Still pretty much no. Okay, big question. Can I destroy trees? 10 out of 10 game. But I can't harvest them. Oh, okay, so I need to destroy the destroyed. Well, we found water, so... Oh, we're looking at the bucket. Okay, lovely. Now, let's actually hope these buckets are used to what I think they're used for. I mean, they're called water buckets, so let's hope so. That is some proper blobby water. And there's some stuff over here as well. What are you? Oh, now this I have seen before. Okay, this is one of the few things I have seen. So, uh, this is our farming. So, we have these little plots of land. So, we put down soil. That makes those little plops. Put in seeds. Add water. Add fertilizer. Time! And then you get food. Okay, so I guess... Oh, I can just pick this up. Okay, for a second now, I thought this is like a uh, purchase thing. Never mind. I'm going mad. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, a wheel. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll be taking that. And actually, I'll be taking all of you. Now, I'm assuming I can make blocks like this later on. I don't know how to craft at the moment. I haven't really got a crafting menu. I assume that's all back at the base. Lovely. You know what? I'll take everything. Oh, God, our inventory is going to get so full so fast. Yeah, we need storage. As soon as I can find some storage, I am going to be using that. I'll come back to you in a second. Thank you. There's a toilet. And some other bits and bobs around here. Can I pick up anything here? No. Oh, storage! Okay, can I take you with me? Yes, I can. Fantastic. So, we need to... Put the battery in there. Okay, do I actually need to be holding it, it seems. If I was the battery, I'd be right there. There we are. Power has been restored. Ooh. Lots of stuff over here as well. What is that? Okay, so we have the craft part. Okay, lovely. So we have the engine, we can make wheels, we can make bearings, which of course can be very important for, you know, wheels. And then we have the driver's seat. Cardboard blocks. 
Oh, well, I see. So you can basically in increase how many blocks you have, and that might be something else. Aha! The connect tool. Okay, I remember you. Button, switch. Okay, yeah, we definitely need the connect tool. We're going to need a driver's seat and an engine. Oh, we're going to need more of those. Were those what the enemies were dropping? Yeah, the circuit boards. Okay, yeah, so it is used for crafting. How many wheels do we have currently? We have... Just the one. Could have swore I picked up another. I need to explore a bit. Oh, there it is. That's why. Okay, so we have two. So I need at least three for what I want. There's probably more just out in the wild which I missed. I will go and check in a little bit. Oh, cool. Switch. There we are, though. We've got our connecting tool. What I think we should probably do, though, before it gets dark, is we should set up that farm. So farm first, and hopefully we can find some more enemies, we can get some more circuits, we can get all the basics for a very, very basic vehicle. Wait, where's the water? I kind of found it on the way back, and now I can't remember for the life of me where it is. I should also explore around here a bit more, really, shouldn't I? Oh, instantly validated. Yes, I should. Component kit again for upgrading things. Loads of component kits. Okay, and a fair bit of food, so we're not going to starve anytime soon. Is there anything on top? Not that I can see. Oop. Yep, that went well. There we go, another we- Oh, hello! Ooh, what are you? Well, you're an angry boy, aren't you? What- on earth do you have for a mouth there? Oh, they look like just drink canisters. Oh, a circuit board. Lovely. That's what I wanted. Just what I wanted. How did you know? Huh. Okay, they were just randomly out and about. They're dropping anything else? It's getting very dark very quick. I wonder how dark it gets in this game. I could have sworn I just saw something else. Am I going mad? I can't see. I'll have a, another look-see. Oh! No, oh, that's what I think I was seeing. Yeah, I'm going mad. I'll have another check later. Anyway, in you we have some more shakes and some more soil. I'm going to continue to explore, though it is getting very, very dark. Might need to up the contrast in the video. Okay, so tell me if you'd like me to make it brighter. Because here's the thing. Some people really like the videos where you can see exactly what I can see. I thought it was a chest. It's a bloody flower. Pretty flower. Whereas other people prefer to see a bit more. And I kind of understand both. Oh, lots of enemies. Well, I need circuits, so you know what? Ow. How do I dodge those attacks? Oh, okay. So you can dodge them. You take a lot of hits. There we go. So yeah, the point I was trying to make was, if you'd like to see more, tell me in the comments. But for this video... Oh, that's what I think I saw. It's more scrap. But if you'd like me to keep it, then tell me as well. Yay for first impressions videos. I haven't done one of these in a while. It's weird. Yoink. Ooh, building. Getting very dark, though. I was going to explore the building, but I couldn't see a thing. So I'm just going to gather some wood while it's night time. I cannot see a thing. Thing right now. Oh, I can hear something. No, I can see your light. Goodbye. Oh, did not see you though. Ow. Damn, these things hit for a lot if you actually hit by them. You can dodge them seemingly. But if they hit you, yeah, I can imagine being swarmed by those would just utterly destroy you. Loads of scrap now. Well, I'll say that. Probably going to use it up in seconds. I have no idea where I'm going. Aha! I see smoke. Okay, let's go back to the base. I think I've got enough stuff to build an engine now. And the driver's seat, maybe. Ah, fire. Warmth and light. Although I get stuck on everything on the way. Now making the chair, and after that I think I have everything for a really, really basic craft. So, 
Oh, here's a question. Oh, I can just build anywhere. Of course I can. That makes sense. Just this allows this to be a separate entity than, you know, the floor. So if I remove this, as you can see, that's now different. So one question I've got then is could I have been, you know, destroying a lot more stuff for resources rather than chopping down trees? Also, yes, I know I need to start farming soon. I will, I promise, but I really want to make a basic craft. Like this, for instance. Or these. Okay, this I can't. Okay, that I can. That I can, but I'm looking for just normal blocks. No, these are all just pieces, aren't they? Oh, no, you're not. Yeah, I should have been paying way more attention. That's good. That's really good. I'm also glad that I've played this game before, because otherwise I would be a bit lost with these controls. Oh, is that... Okay, that mesh is made out of blocks. That's good. I'm just going to take this whole thing apart. You will eventually be something useful to me. I have got some storage back at the base now as well. I've put down one of the lockers, but I feel like we need more. Now, I don't know how to craft more items either. We've only got the very basics there, so I assume I might need to go out and get recipes or something. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. Either way, though, we now have plenty of blocks, so let's get to work with this. It's going to be a really simple thing. So, let me just get the chair so I can see the size of everything. Hello. Oh, yeah. You know, right now, in real life, my beard's actually longer than that. There's half a quarantine. Anyway, let's get to work with this then. So... Oh, no, no, there we are. I wanted to see. So I'm going to have a wheel in the front. So, oh no, if I just have one wheel in the front, it's not going to be symmetrical, is it? Can I get it to be between blocks? I don't think I can. Oh, I know what I wanted. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it unless I make this asymmetrical. Okay, let's sort out everything else first. Let's put down the engine. So, the engine is somewhere. In fact, it's already in my hotbar. Thank you. Okay. So I guess we just put the gas in there. Though I don't want it that way around, so let's place it again. There we are, then using the connecting tool. You to you, you to you. And then, actually, no, I don't want to turn you. I only wanted to turn the front wheel. But now, again, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that and have it symmetrical. What a shame! I don't know why I thought that would be um, three wide, but I kind of did. Uh, that also means, though, I need another wheel. And I'm going to need yet another one of these bearings. So I need a bit more scrap. Okay, I'm going to have a bit of an explore. I'm going to see if we can find some more scrap and such. Ooh, look, stuff. Totally meant to do that, just to show how fragile life is. <laughs> Technically, that works. <laughs> yeah, so I just connected um, this to that, that's all. So yeah, that controls the engine, so we can do that. Just need the ability to turn now. So if I recall correctly, and it has been quite some time, this should, in theory, work. Okay, you're controlling those two. They're both going the same way. Yes, they are. Okay, so remove you. Okay, it's the wrong way around, though. It's currently inverted, so let's just swap you two around. Oh, these wheels are horrendous. <laughs> um, that's actually surprising. I didn't expect the wheels to have a true hitbox, but it seems like they do. But there we go. Yeah, technically speaking, we have a really basic, really basic vehicle. Oh, that's horrendous. But here's the question. Can I put storage onto this vehicle? We do have the locker, and I'm going to have another look to see if there's anything else. Grab you, put you there. Also, I could turn up the engine a bit. Right now it's on very low, so... How's that? Remove this. Get in. It's kind of faster. Yeah, that's just dreadful. That is really dreadful. There must be ways of improving this. 
Oh, yep. Like, for instance, working out your center of mass. Might help. Wait, why am I holding it like this? It's like a, it's like a weapon. Oh, is it because it has items inside it? Okay, that might be the case. Okay, so we can actually put these on, but this is way too heavy, so... Let's leave this here for now. What I need to do, then, is find a way of crafting better stuff. Why would I ever use this? I guess just because, yeah, less logs equals more of these, so we could use them instead. Anything else of use here? What is that? That is, eh? Just a piece of pipe. Okay, let's pop that back down, then. One last check to see if there's anything else in... Ooh. This is actually an item. Okay, let's... Let's put out all the fires and see if there is anything else. Then we'll go and farm. Technically, I've made a vehicle. I am an engineering genius. Is that a duck? I can take the duck. Yep, best game confirmed. Yeah, I can't see anything else of use. And I've put out the fire here and I can't actually use it for anything. I assume because of how damaged it is. Perhaps that's something for the future. You really can take anything, can't you? Okay, for now, though, let's get farming. I wonder if robots can attack your vehicles. I'm assuming they can. Also, we could turn a lot sharper if we, we, did, if we redid how I've, um, kind of very badly put together the front wheels. Still, though, this is fine. Pretty slow, but fine. <laughs> this is dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, lights and stuff. Ooh, we could use all this in our vehicles. For now, though, for now, though, let's see how the farming works. So, we need the soil, we need the seeds, we need the water. Let's put it all nice and close to the water, then, so I have to keep on going back and forth. Ooh, too steep. How about here? What's force build? I do not get what that's doing. Oh, I'm putting down the items that I'm using. I get it, I get it, that makes sense. I'll just put it all up here instead. Now, again, one of the few things I do know about the game is that this should trigger a thing so that the enemies will start to spawn to attack us. I think at night. Might just be a certain time where I don't actually know that. A starchy potato can also be used for ammo for spuds gun. Ooh, for spud guns and mountable spud guns. Can we have, like, an automated defense system? Because that would be really cool. Gotta be honest. There's the fertilizer, there's the seeds, so plant, 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 plant. Plant. Plant to plant. Do we need to do water first, or can we fertilize first? Okay, cool. The question is, how do we get more fertilizer as well? Because I have no clue. Okay, so you can get multiple of one. That's good. Oh, and there is a third bucket over there, which I really should grab. Did I just... Place down the fertilizer underground. Yep, yes I did. By underground, I meant underwater. Yep, there we go. Unauthorized farming detected. Fantastic. I'm ready. So we have 13 hours, which of course is just... F oh, I didn't mean to do that. Darn, I thought it was one of these. Yeah, that's a bit of a whoopsie. Guess I might as well just harvest while I'm around. Uh, let's have a bit of explore and see what happens at the end of that timer. I'm assuming we'll get attacked. So we could put down some defences, I guess. I mean, this is a big boy, so if we grab these, we can use them as kind of like fences in one direction. I'm not sure where they're going to be attacking from. I'm assuming just all around us, so if we can stop them from arriving in one direction, that would be lovely. Uh, even just that. I mean, it's something, right? Yeah, that's going to totally defend us. We are now completely safe. Okay, so if you press H, you can see the how to play stuff. For instance, you can crouch. Did not know that. Oh, also you can do your camera in and out. I did realise you could go in third person. I didn't realise you could do it like that. That's nice to see. Yeah, I should have read that first as well. Yeah, there we go, for turning. If we had a couple more bearings, we could have made everything turn, which would be pretty nice. 
but I simply didn't have the resources to do that. Yeah, I'll be sure to take a look see all this in the future, but by the looks of things, I've pretty much got the basics down. And then, of course, you have logic gates, which I have minimal experience with, so at least I can use them and not be completely confused instantly, but using them well, well that's a different story. So I've placed down the remaining seeds we had, which are the red beet seeds. Oh, just one thing left unwatered. Now my question is, can you still grow plants if you're out of fertilizer? Because I am out of fertilizer. I'm also very glad that you can pick up the dirt once you've placed it, because I think I may have made a mistake there, or it could just be... No, yeah, definitely made a mistake. Okay, that's fine. Don't even... It doesn't really matter too much right now, since I'll be redoing it later. Okay, can't just grow potatoes from potatoes, apparently. Interesting. Ah, tomato seeds. Fantastic. Oh, that's what the original... That's not tomato, is it? Okay, that's the tomato plant as well. That's fine. But yeah, got no fertilizer for these. So, gonna be curious to see if they can actually grow. That's gonna be a serious crop if this all grows, though. Found some corn. Really do need to stop just hitting things when I first see them. Any chests or anything around here? Don't want to stray too. Aha! Don't want to stray too far away since it won't be too long until we're attacked. Oh, good! You can see the number from quite far away. That is fantastic. Also, of course, we do have the clock in the top left as well, so I can actually pay attention. Can I use it any other way? Nope, so it's actually just hitting it. Now, there are going to be way more complex things down the line, I'm sure of it, like cooking food. Woks love to eat corn. I have no idea what... Wait, wok. Is that cow backwards? I mean, it is, but... Is that what's intended? Ah, pigment. So we can either just grab the flowers, or we can use them for their pigment, that's fine. Just gonna keep on running around for any more chests, or enemies or anything of interest in the immediate area. Is this the building we came to early? Yeah it is, I just missed this, okay. Some more seeds. And yes, yeah, just the area we've already checked out. Want to go over that building soon. Seeds, component kits, red beets. Oh, are you done? We have a carrot. We're not getting any more carrot seeds, though, it seems. Or are we? Okay, we have six. Oh, good, good, good. We do actually get our seeds back. In fact, we get more than we put down, which makes sense. Is everything that's done so far? Yes, it is. Okay. Seems like the higher the higher up you are, the more of these you can grab. Uh, sometimes. Maybe I just gotta get better at it. Maybe I just gotta get good. Interesting that the timer's still there though, so is that not how fast they're growing? Is that just the, like the enemy spawner or? Well, I guess we're about to find out either way. Did I grab some of those before they were finished? No, the option doesn't pop up, okay. I made a little wall here, just in case it tries to get this way, though I imagine they could probably just, you know, walk around it. Didn't really have enough in the resource department for that. Let's get you right up here, so enemies are less likely to attack you. My pride and joy. I don't know why I'm illuminating the crops in particular. Oh, hello, I can see lights. Oh, both directions, that's not what I wanted to see. 
Please go away. Thank you. I'll pick up the stuff after. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad. Bad boy. No. No. Thank you. But no. I just heard another one. Aha! Oh, it does work, look. They're actually attacking it. Oh, that's actually better. If they, by default, attack rather than try and path around, you can set up some traps or something. Maybe. I don't know. See what we have available to us. So I think the lore of this game, I might be wrong here, this what I've heard, is that essentially these bots were here to make way for the humans. So, you know, they're farming bots and everything to set off everything for us. But then they've gone a bit, um... A bit mad. Or well, something like that, anyway. Could be very wrong there. Correct me if I am wrong. Is that it? Now, of course, if we weren't here to defend that, we would have lost all of our crops. can just about see what's going on. I oh, have yeah, plenty of stuff. Loads of stuff to drink, loads of extra seeds. Got a fair bit of food now, so yeah, I think after this, what we're likely to do then tomorrow is just go and explore, because there's loads to see. I'm still thinking it'd be really annoyingly um, placed. Uh, I'm going to do this at the back. I want to add the exit sign somewhere. You know what? Underneath our seat. There we go. <laughs> that seems reasonable. That's the floor. You know what? Guardian the exit sign. That'll do. My single light on the front. Yep, that's going to be... Uh, that's not going to be stupid at all. Ah, it's for next day, and once again, unauthorised farming detected. Now, I could stay around until these are finished. They're almost done anyway. But I do really want to do a little bit of exploring. So you know what? I'm afraid, crops, we're going to see what happens if we just leave crops behind. We have loads of seeds and a fair bit of food right now. So I am going to go off and check what's in the warehouse we saw over there. Would it be better just to run? Maybe it would. Maybe it would. There we go, let's max that out. Full speed! <laughs> yep. True speedster right here. Still best we bring this, because if we do have some extra items, we can just strap them onto the vehicle itself, so it will work. Kind of. <laughs> we just need better wheels. <laughs> better wheels and a better engine. Remember, this is the worst engine we can get with the worst wheels we can get. <laughs> and it's not built particularly well. <laughs> oh my god, how is my neck still attached? I think my head's going to pop off. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> you poor, poor thing. <laughs> oh, that's the enemies. And apparently we don't actually have a break, so you're just going to move down. Hello. I'm actually glad to see you, because you... Drop your arm. Oh, it's your arm that you're dropping. Okay. So I was kind of correct with the thing I was thinking about. There we are. That'll go some more scrap, so we can make more wheels, more pretty much everything. We could just set up a second engine. Unless... Oh, never mind, max connections. Okay, another enemy, which I'm really happy to see, which is weird to say. Because we do heal pretty quickly, just passively. I know you can crouch. Who needs stealth when you got a big hammer? We can use it as a body part. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, we could actually replace everything with this. At least the main section here. Oh, I need to. Okay, let's find some more enemies and let's use their corpses. Yep, so the core is now the enemy. I like that. Sadly, they're not quite the right uh, size for the other stuff, but we can always do that kind of stuff later on. Pick up the stuff I had to throw on the floor. Probably not throwing them on the floor anyway. We've got way too much junk at the moment. You know what? Let's just start putting all the junk onto our craft. There's a pretty flower. There's another pretty flower. There we go. So you have two pretty flowers. That one's a cactus, but you get the idea. So, a guardian duck. Wait, is it a duck or a chicken? Oh. Now, back to exploring. I think for now, we really should just get the scrap. 
We definitely need this for a lot. I mean, we're using it for pretty much every single recipe, and it seems like the only way we can get this is from finding these arms on the floor or from killing enemies and then scrapping their arms. Ooh, is there any stuff up there? Well, let's find out. No, the answer is no. Oh, there's stuff there, but is there a different way in? I'm assuming there is. Oh, bit stuck. No, 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 we're okay, we're okay. There we are. Okay, so it fell on the floor. And let's get this back. Ooh, loads and loads of scrap metal. Fantastic. The first upgrade I want on my vehicle is definitely making it a 4x4. Four four. So give me some more engines, give me some more bearings, thank you. Give me some more wheels and I'll be a happy chap. Loads of fuel as well. I wonder if this stuff respawns or, or is it just a one-time thing? I'm kind of hoping it respawns because that'd be cool. Know all the best spots and everything. Ooh, what's that? Kind of looks like it has antlers. Is it like a deer or something? Wee! Ow, my legs. Oh, look, a proper road. Cool. That's definitely where we're going next, then. Oh, no, you're the cows. Kind of. Well, that's not right. You're kind of cute in your own way. So I know that this said you like eating them. Do I give this to you? Kind of tracked. Uh, was there any point in that? Well, I mean, I can't use it. Here you go, lad. Well, oh. Oh. Milk. I am pretty thirsty. Can I get any more from you, or is it just like a one time? No, no, you can't get multiple from the same cow. Fresh and bottled, which is the more confusing thing. Now, bit of a mean thought, but if I kill this thing, do I also get meat? Hmm. Well, that's something for future Lathrox to find out, if I'm in a particularly dark mood. Don't think there's anything else to explore here. Don't, I don't think I've missed anything, but it is also becoming night time, so I can't see. Anyway. Can I steal that light, please? I mean, it's a pretty big light, but, you know, I want it nonetheless. So, is there any reason, then... Oh, wow, is that going to shine light all the time, because it's technically a piece of scrap? Don't know if I approve of that. But yeah, I wonder if I have enough stuff now then. I mean, I've got 85 metal blocks. All I'd need is two more bearings. I want the uh, back wheels to turn as well. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. How many connections can you have? Let's pop down a bearing and see, because I feel like I'm about to be very sad. Can I attach that to that? Oh, no, I can. Excellent. Okay, so I can do that. I just need a second engine, so I can't connect that to more than two. Maybe it'd be better if I went out and, you know, found a better engine, but at the same time, I do kind of want to upgrade this because I think it'd be cool. And doubling the power of this thing wouldn't be bad. Yeah, let's do that. That's the final goal of today. Let's make this a, uh, a bit better. Well, I am sad. Turns out this can only connect to three. Well, I am still want the uh, the front wheels to have some power, though, so I'm still making the engine, but yeah, a little bit sad that... <laughs> yep, that's all I wanted to do. Still a little bit sad, nonetheless. Well, it's definitely faster. Yep, so now all wheels have power. A little bit back heavy, though. Whoa, yep, yeah, that's definitely better. Just need better wheels. Desperately. Yeah, the wheels at the front could be done way better than they are. They do clip way too easily into everything, so perhaps using the pipes or something would make them way better, you know, turning. Okay, but now it is almost daytime, so let's have a quick look, see then what's happened to our farm. 
And all the crops are just gone. Yeah. No enemies around, though. So maybe they despawn or they just wander off after a while. That is all the crops gone. So what we really need to do is find a more permanent location. We also need to find out how we make better stuff. Because right now, we could just keep on adding engines and more wheels, but it's just not going to get us anywhere. Oh, wow. Yeah, I really need to redo the front. You know what? I'm going to redo the front before the end of the video because otherwise it will annoy me. Also, it turns out, by the looks of things, if I use these, the um, corpse parts, as I keep on calling them, I can't actually attach my lift to the vehicle. I can place it underneath and kind of manually do it, but that's not very good. So what I'm going to do is just make sure this won't break as soon as I remove those two parts, and I'm going to remove them. Okay, that's better. So what I've done is I've used um, pipes instead of the solid blocks, and it seems to be better. It might just be in my head, but yeah, that is a bit easier to control. Though it is way too bouncy right now, because it's a bit light. It's light, and these wheels are absolutely horrendous. But still, it's faster than it was. It's easy to control. I think that's all well and good. And we could always make it better by... Well, actually, there's a lot of things we could do. Making it a bit wider, adding a bit more white to the center of mass, sorting out the center of mass. There's lots of things we could do there. But for now, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's video. I have had so much fun during this video. The time has just flew by. So I'm really hoping you've enjoyed it too. I would like to see what else this game has to offer. So if you would like to see it too, then of course, likes, favorites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Scrap Mechanic is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I really am curious about all the other stuff we can make. So, thank you so much for watching, hope to see you next time, and goodbye. Little duck.